All right, everybody, I have a second DC update for you today. And this is pretty crazy. This is some breaking news. And this comes from James Gunn himself. So we're going to look at what James Gunn posted online, and we're going to take a look at the article for this. So let's jump right in here. So here is his post. Over the moon excited to announce the newest DC Studios Warner Brothers picture animation greenlit film for theaters. So this isn't going to be on streaming. This is for theaters, which is called Dynamic Duo, the story of Robin, or should I say Robins, as in Dick Grayson and Jason Todd, the first feature film from the visionary Swaybox, a mix of animation, puppetry, and CGI, a script from the wonderfully talented Matt Aldrich, produced with our partners at Matt Reeves 6th and Idaho. This is something special. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the article for this. The Robin's origin story dynamic duo in the works with DC Studios, WPA, and 6th and Idaho. Movie to be made with puppetry animation. This should be interesting, so let's see what it says. The 6th and Idaho movie scripted by Matthew Aldrich is being made by an animation studio out of New Orleans named Swaybox. And that studio's husband and wife creators, Arthur Mintz and Teresa Anderson. Mintz will direct this movie, which follows the early days of Dick Grayson and Jason Todd, a.k.a. Robbins. Note the storyline here isn't connected to Matt Reeves' Batman and the Penguin Cannon. Swaybox uses a technology known as Momo Animation, which is a cross between CGI animation, practical elements of stop motion, and live-action real-time performance. The result is a long-form storytelling built as visually breathtaking, dynamically expressive, and more human. DC Studios' James Gunn and Peter Safran, Swaybox Studios' Anderson, 6th and Idaho's Reeves, are producers on Dynamic Duel. Executive producers include Michael Uslan. I have wanted to make a film with Arthur and Swaybox for many years, and for that film to be Dynamic Duo, an incredibly special and unique Batman and Robin story for families, is a dream, Reeves said. Mintz, co-founder and co-CEO of Swaybox, is a graduate of Columbia University. He was hired by animation legend Joe Ramped to work in the storyboard department on James and the Giant Peach and was one of the contributing writers of Moonbot Studios' Lost Ali, which won multiple Emmys for Netflix. Mintz has directed several award-winning puppet theater productions. Anderson, Swaybox's other co-founder and co-CEO, moved to New Orleans from Sweden when she was 18 to pursue a career in music. She became known around the world as a performer and composer while touring her innovative one-woman looping show, a collaboration with Mintz inspired by a one-man puppet show. She has performed on Late Night with Conan O'Brien and The Late Show with Craig Ferguson and has been Mintz's producing partner since 2009. The project news comes in the wake of DC Studios' HBO and Max series The Penguin Landing, the biggest four-day audience for a new series on Max in every region globally since The Last of Us in January 2023. The series debut averaged 5.3 million cross-platform U.S. viewers over its weekend debut. All right, so notice in that article that they specifically said that it is not going to be tied to Reeves, the Batman, or the Penguin. Now, what's interesting about this is there are some rumors going around right now, and several pe people sent me stuff on this earlier today, that they are trying to pull the Batman into the DCU. Now, we already know Matt Reeves has pushed back against that, but... I wouldn't be surprised if Reeves is saying, hey, if you don't do this, your universe is dead. I would not be surprised at all because we already know James Gunn doesn't like other iterations of these characters running around. He wants only his stuff. And so I don't see them being able to do a Batman film as close to when the Batman 2 is going to be released in theaters without making it part of the DCU, which means that this this Robin story is going to have nothing to do with the DCU. The other possibility here is that, you know, we already know that the Batman film, The Brave and the Bold, is going to be Batman with his son Damien, which leaves three Robins to be talked about prior to that even happening. Uh, they may even skip Tim Drake entirely. Who knows? But maybe this is a story to get everybody up to speed on Dick Grayson and Jason Todd prior to Damien coming into the picture. Now, if it's going to follow the brave and the bold, Tim Drake would be the Robin at the beginning of that film, bringing in Damien later on. But we don't know what they're going to be doing here in the future, so there's several different ways that this can go. I would love to hear your guys' uh, comments and your thoughts 
in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please take the time to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next video.